Okay, so this drill right here is going to be the forehand switch. So you can start with either hand. I like to start with my my forward hand. Four, one, two, three, four. And just switch in between each one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you can go faster and faster just by applying a little bit more pressure. You just got to keep it up. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like that, y'all. And so right about now, I'm gonna bring my boy Greg in so he can show you guys another drill. Check this out. Okay, guys, this is what we call a cutback. This is the next progression from doing your standard rhythm beat right here, okay? What you wanna do on this one is you're gonna go fist, wrist, fist. Fist, wrist, fist, okay? On this, to make it effective, you wanna not drive downward, but you wanna Aim the target up towards maybe one of the bolts on your on the front one. So sign off here, fist, fist, fist. I'm not bumping, if you notice it, I'm hitting it on this side. So I'm just bumping it. I'm not trying to cut back really hard. If, bumping, if you have problems, just try starting off by catching it here, going back down, but just fist, fist, fist. So it's not as easy as you think, and you're like, you've been doing this back for quite a while, so you're looking at, Hitting with the fist, driving upward into the platform, coming back, on. So it's up, up, not bang, bang, down, down. Upward, upward. You're just tapping a little bit. Fist, 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 fist. Start to get it. All right, you guys saw what we did in the last one. We were doing the cutback right here. Okay, we're doing the wrist. If I angle a little bit, you see that I'm hitting on the back side of the platform. On this next one, doubles. We're moving, you want to load the back hand higher than the other one and have a pace between it. So as I'm doing it, I'm hitting, but the second hit comes on the other half of this peg. So I'm going here, and boom, and boom, right, and a reload. All right, so this is his challenge. So you may not get it today, but we're going to come back with this and check him doing it. We'll try to do a live one. And that's what we're going to be doing together, just passing back techniques. So his first rhythm, he started off with the ones that you guys are doing. All right, standard. You then add a cutback. Yeah, I can get that. You start developing a rhythm. And then I'm going to add the double. So you hear that rhythm? Add the double. So I'm going here. That's right, first rhythm. So okay. singles to a cutback. So double. So go, you can go any beat you want. Park, and then start adding your single hook. You can switch up. All that stuff. Alright, let's try it. So I've never tried this before. New. Brand new to it, so I'm gonna go ahead and go just like you said. Boom, bam. A little sloppy, but kicking it up though. Once you get this one, this is the one that's going to give you a lot of speed in your punches. And there's a great application that we'll show you as a bonus at the end on how this works in your punching, your sparring, throwing your jab cross with uh, more efficiency and more speed. Yeah. Okay, a little bit of a breakdown with this. When you start off with the speed bag, you're starting off with the rolling of the elbows. You're keeping an inside V so that it comes back at you. As you get better, this starts to straighten out, okay? And you should be working it out so now you're at your jabs and your crosses with your straights, full length and rotating through. Everybody knows jabs and crosses, but that principle of rolling and not dropping your hands, this is one of the biggest problems that people have, right, when they're boxing. Is they're, when we're coaching, they, they throw and they bring their hands back to the front pockets, leave their eyes open, their, their face open, everything like that. Okay, so second one we did, we were talking about, was this double. This is my favorite thing. So if you, I have Biz and he's throwing a jab cross at me, okay? That's typically the way you see a jab cross come in. He's throwing jab cross, okay? You can see how they're sticking it. So you got one, two, boom. If you want to really upset somebody, say I'm looking at a jab cross hook. One, two, hook. You can see the timing of that. That's the standard one, two, here. If I take the application of that double right here and I throw it from here, okay, and I go, pop, pop. You get that 
pop, pop, pop. So you can really accelerate and throw those almost as a double at the same time. So throw those out like the double. Yeah, both. They both launch at the same time. Pop, pop. Good. Now throw that hook in. It's keep that hook tight. Boom, right there. So it's a really good accelerator. If you're thinking of coming in, he's up rather than just going here, coming in, boom, boom. And you could switch sides on this as well. So you can cut in, boom, boom. You can cut angles. There's a really quick entrance to rattle them. So if his hands are up here, he's up here, and I'm coming in, it's different. It's a different appearance than a standard jab cross, right? It is. It allows me also to close the gap. So if I'm in here, I could hide under it, boom, boom, and already be here and delivering. Okay, so throw it as like that roll, pop, pop. So almost sort of like a hammer fist at first, that's it. And just let the knuckles straighten out at the end. Boom, boom, speed. Good, they both launch pretty much the same thing. So if you're looking here, same idea. Boom, see how you, boom, right there, ba boom. And then throw whatever comes in next. And as you're doing it, move behind it. There we go, see that? Then ba boom, moving behind it. So it's a great technique to let you uh, hide behind the stuff and move with the, just add that to your, to your, to your routine. <laughs> <Here we see. laughs> All right, cool. Pop, pop, pop. So you can really accelerate and throw those almost as a double at the same yeah. time. And as you get better, you can go faster and faster. Oh. <laughs> Then you can go single hand like this. You just gotta keep it up. Three, four, one. The man right there, y'all. He's already catching it. He's already catching it. Oh! <laughs>